guys, welcome back to Robo. Hope you guys are doing well and staying safe in your houses. And today, to what we're going to talk about is this guy. This is a 24-bit ring LED and it's completely RGB. Every LED that you see, all these 24 are completely RGB. And we're going to talk about how to interface this with the Arduino. So stay tuned. So the way this thing works is like any other ring light, you can have it emit one single light like red, blue, green, white, orange, any other color you want, or you can have them animated as well, like so. This ring light may come into use for you in multiple ways. If you're a content creator, this acts like a proper ring light for you to light up your face or anything object that you want. So the way you animate the lights on this is by using this. This is an Arduino. Uh, you can use an Arduino Nano, Arduino Uno, Mega, anything you want. For the sake of this video, I'm using an Arduino Uno. So the programs that will be compiling on this will be uploaded on this thing and the lights will be animated according to the code. Also, if you have a proper room setup or you're planning to build one, this is a way to go. You can have it animated in multiple ways and just change the colors. There's so many options. And yeah, this is a cool, fun way to have. So let's get ahead with how to interface this and what components you need for this. The components that you need for this project are a WS2812 24-bit RGB ring light, an Arduino, you can use an Arduino Uno, Nano, Mega, whatever you have. The cable that you need to connect the Arduino to the computer and a few jumper cables. <laughs> also, you need a resistor using a 1K resistor. The first thing that you have to do is solder on all the wires to the back of the ring light. As you can see, we have four pins over here. That is a D0, the 5 volt, the ground and the D1. The D0 and D1s are the data pins and the connections of all the wires to the Arduino will be like this. So the data pin will be going to the 12th pin of the Arduino and the 5 volt to the 5 volt and the ground to the ground respectively. Also, if you find this video interesting enough, a sub to the channel would be fantastic. So to program the lights, you have to input the code into the Arduino. For that, you need to download the Arduino ID if you already haven't. Uh, the link to download the Arduino ID will be down in the description, check it out. After downloading the IDs, you will be needing to download the libraries that we have to be using the example codes of to animate the lights. The download link for the libraries will be also in the description alongside the download link for the ID, check it out. If you don't know how to install the libraries, here is so. After you've downloaded the ID and the library, what you have to do is open your Arduino ID, go to sketch and include library, in that you have to find the add.zip library. Click on that and navigate to where you've downloaded the library and find the fast LED demos master and just click on open. That's it. Now that the libraries have been downloaded and installed in the Arduino ID, all we have to do is use the codes and upload it into the ring lights. So the way you do that is go to files, examples and search for the library that is the fast LEDs demos master and just click on whatever animation that you find interesting. So here we're just going to try the confetti animation and what you have to do is make some few changes in the code. Like you see here at the LED type, the type that they are using in the code is the APA102, but the LEDs that we are using are the WS2812, so just change them to that. The number of LEDs that you have in your ring light may vary, but the one that we are using here is a 24-bit one, so we're just going to enter 24 numbers of LEDs over here. So if you just scroll down, you can see this one where it's written use this for WS2812, so you just remove this and comment for the APA ones so that the code understands that we are using the WS2812 LEDs and all you have to do is just upload it. And that's it, that's how you interface the WS2812 RGB ring light with the Arduino. It's a very simple, very fun little project that we made. All the products that you saw today in this video will be found on our website that's www.robo.in. You can check it out and the links to buy all these things will be in the description as well. So check it out. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like and comment down below what other projects would you want us to make and subscribe if you already haven't. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.